It's Guna podcast or vodcast or vidcast. I get confused with all these terms. Number five. At least I can remember what number it is. Um, here I am again. Uh, it's been a while since the last time. Uh, there's been a lot of um, a lot of good games going on, and and the one bad game, the, the one I can't get out of my mind, is of course the uh, the defeat against Wigan. We didn't play that badly, but um, it's not the best preparation to play against Chelsea, who have just managed to beat Barcelona. They didn't exactly outplay Barcelona. Let's face it, they um, they kind of got lucky. Uh, Barca hit the woodwork twice. And uh, Drogba was unplayable. It's one of those days when you when you wish that Didier Drogba was an Arsenal player. Of course, he was one of those players that we scouted back in the day, but didn't get. Peter Cech, likewise. Peter Cech was probably uh, the outstanding player for Chelsea on the night. Imagine that. 30% possession at home. So, after that game, what we've got to say is after that game, Chelsea are going to be very tired. So, when they play against us on Saturday with a noon kickoff. You'd have to say they've not had a lot of time to to get their energy levels back to where they should be. So I have some hope that we're gonna we're gonna be able to um, to win this game against Chelsea. I put it down. Uh, my predictions have come out more or less as as they as I predicted um, because I, I predicted the last sort of eight or nine results. Um, I'm not going to go back in time and say which ones I've got right and which ones I've got wrong. Apart from this, I will say. I got the Wigan result completely wrong. I thought that was three points. I thought Man City was three points. And I actually predicted prior to the Wigan defeat that Chelsea, the Chelsea game would also be three points. But the games I'm actually worried about coming up, I'm just checking my notes because I always forget these fixtures. But obviously the next game is Stoke away and I, I'm not sure I've got us down for three points uh, for that game. Clearly we're the better side, but we always struggle against those kind of long ball tactics and long throws and so on. So had that down as a one-point game. And then the Norwich home game, well, that should be three points. Obviously not going to be as easy as that. And then West Brom away, that should be three points as well. So we're looking we're looking good. So long as we can beat Chelsea, we're looking pretty good to, to get that third spot. And that means we don't have to go through the qualification round to get into the Champions League. And obviously that's going to be a really good thing for us. But one, one of the things, before I made that prediction about the, the Chelsea game uh, the first time around, one thing I obviously didn't know about was that Arteta was going to get injured. And this uh, ankle injury he sustained means he's going to be out of that game and out for the season. That's not the best news we've ever had. Uh, particularly, as he's one of those players when he's not always outstanding, but you miss him when he's not there. And, uh, and I feel we're really going to miss him in a big way. So Arteta will be sadly missed. And it, there's a part of me that says that we might only get a draw out of this game against Chelsea, even though they're tired, because it's not going to be one of our better teams that take the field. Uh, Chesney, I think he was at fault for both goals against Wigan, so I'm, I'm predicting Chesney's going to keep a clean sheet because he's pretty much like that. If he if he has one bad game, he's going to have three or four good games that follow, and I didn't think he covered, him, covered himself in glory against Wigan. He wasn't that bad, but he made two terrible mistakes, I felt. Um, and then, of course, at right back, looks looks like we'll have Sanya and It'll be a central defensive partnership of Juru and Vermaelen. I'm quite happy with Juru um, since he's got back in the team. I think he's done reasonably well. Um, and uh, and then, of course, at left back, probably Andre Santos. He's got to be careful about his temperament, Santos. Santos obviously did score against Chelsea. And uh, let's hope he can get another goal because I love it when he rampages forward. I think this guy's got an amazing amount of skill. Uh, I've heard some people criticise him. Not quite sure where they're coming from. Defensively, he's not the best. But, uh, but you know, who is in our team? And then you're looking through the midfield, and um, the big worry there, I suppose, is the fact that we're going we're gonna to have to play uh, Rambo. Uh, Aaron Ramsey's not been the same since his injury, although he started off the season reasonably well and it's faded, faded a lot because he's played so many games. It's, it's, a lot, it's a lot to ask for. It's, you know, very demanding on a player when he's been injured for that long to come back and play a whole season and play in the majority of games, just like Aaron Ramsey has. So I'm not so sure we're going to see a great performance from Aaron Ramsey. I really hope I'm wrong. But uh, the, the supporting cast around him, obviously, we've got Alex Song. Um, I didn't think he played that well against Wigan. Um, then Theo, obviously, he's had a really had a poor game against Wigan. I love Theo to bits, Theo Walcott, but didn't have the best of games. And... Uh, 
Thomas Rizitski is on fire, so we've got to thank our lucky stars for that. And no Yossi Benayun, he can't play against his former club. So who's going to come in? Is it going to be Javinho? I'd say probably. And who is going to take Arteta's place? Well, you know what? I've got a funny feeling that, that um, Arsene Wenger, for once, is going to, is going to grab the nettle, and, or grasp the nettle, should I say, and he's going to throw Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain Chamberlain into the mix. And he's going to have a free roll and he's going to absolutely destroy Chelsea if he's in the mood, if he's been training well. And, and I'm sure, I'm sure that's, there's, all, there's, there's a big likelihood of that happening. And then, of course, Robin Van Persie up front by himself, uh, ably supported by, by the Ox, who's going to be, going to be just about everywhere, I'd, I'd imagine. So that's, that's pretty much how I'm, I'm expecting the team to line up. There could be, there, there is that remote possibility you'll throw Kieran Gibbs in, uh, possibly as left back, and have Andre Santos push him further up the park. That would be a bit more of a defensive-minded Wenger than the Wenger that we know, and I don't personally think he'll do that. But that is an option. I mean, it's the kind of thing I would consider doing myself. Um, but... Um, but yeah, it looks pretty pretty simple. It's going to be Ramsey in for Arteta and Oxley Chamberlain in for Benny Yoon. That's my predictions about the uh, about the way we're going to line up. And we're hearing that Drogba might miss this game, which would be great news indeed if he does, because he's always a handful against us. So I'd really prefer it if he doesn't make make the game. So it could be a weakened Chelsea, and they're going to be a tired Chelsea. And I'm predicting we're going to nick this game. 1-0, just like we did against Manchester City. I'll keep my fingers crossed and everything else crossed and let's, let's just hope it happens. But anyway, if you've got any comments or anything to say about this vlog, because my daughter said, call it a vlog. That's what people do nowadays. Well, I don't know these things. I have to trust her judgment on that. But, um, but yeah, any comments, let, keep them positive, keep them polite if possible. But, you know, what can I say? I'm not, I'm not the internet police, so don't worry about that. All right, so um, until the next time, Take care and up the Arsenal.